John Singleton arriving in rock star style at the inquiry into racing's latest scandal. But the horse owner's day didn't end well, pleading guilty to a charge that he displayed conduct prejudicial to the image of racing and fined $15,000. It stems from Singleton's behaviour in the mounting yard before the all-age stakes in which his horse, more joyous, came second last. Singleton swearing at trainer Gay Waterhouse before accusing her on national television of a conflict of interest with her son Tom. When her own son, who's a bookmaker, saying that she's got problems I didn't know about, well, you have to ask the racing official, you have to ask Gay. You have to ask Tommy. It's one of my horse to let me go tomorrow. Singleton admitted exaggerating some of his allegations against Tom, telling the inquiry, in hindsight, I wish I hadn't said anything. He told reporters that despite the inquiry, his friendship with former footballer Andrew Johns would be repaired. What about going, mate? Do you think that could be repaired at any stage? Gay Waterhouse has also been charged by stewards in relation to the scandal, pleading not guilty to charges that she failed to record and report treatment more joyous received in the lead up to the race. The charges capped off a strange day at the inquiry, which included jockey Alan Robinson refusing to give additional evidence after stewards said brothel owner Eddie Hayson didn't have to be present to hear it. Hayson earlier told the hearing that two sources, other than Andrew Johns, told him the horse was not going to win. Mr Hayson has promised to write those sources down and pass them across the table. Meanwhile, a clearly distressed Johns wanted to be anywhere but the inquiry. He confirmed Tom Waterhouse told him he didn't like more joyous in the race and that he backed the horse anyway. Tom Waterhouse has been cleared of any wrongdoing in the saga, but head steward Ray Murray warned him to stop trading on his family's history in the racing industry. The charges against his mother will be heard on Monday.